So I'm Phil Somerville. Today we're exploring a wicked piece of land here in Malibu. Behind me here they have an exclusive photo shoot with Vogue magazine. Ken Friedman owns this place up here. It's quite a spot. Mark Burnett, the creator of Survivor, just paid $36 million for this piece of property behind me under construction. It's the most ever paid along the streets of the beach. Just off behind me here we have some lobster fishermen that are cruising up and down the coast baiting their traps. They're going to catch as many of those little buggers as they can. The place behind me here is owned by Bob Morris. It's called Paradise Cove. And this is the Beach Cafe. He also owns Gladstones down the road. Not a bad gig he's got going here. This beautiful traditional style home behind me is owned by Barbara Streisand. She's been up here for a number of years now. Obviously loves it. Now that we've had a chance to tour these beautiful homes along the Golden Mile of Malibu, I'm going to go and check out what's under the water. Okay, right now I'm gearing up for a dive in Malibu. Conditions are perfect. The swell is slight, that means the water's not too churned up. I'm putting on this pinnacle wetsuit. One of the best, I think, in the world. Nice. Game on! Let's do it! Alright, this here is my weight belt. Alright, I'm going to put this around my waist. Holds me down under the water. I've been diving for about whew, 20 years now. And uh, I'd say I've had about six to 700 dives over my time. I'm not going to rob a bank, I'm just going diving. Here you go, Phil. Get your tank on and get out of here. I wear gloves when I'm hunting for lobster. Because these are Pacific spiny lobster. If you just have a bare hand, it goes straight through it like a needle. Very painful. Right here, we've got a dive bag, or a catch bag if you like. It's spring loaded. Alright, so when we can put the crayfish in there, it keeps them safe. They can't get out of there, no way. You gotta watch the little buggers though, sometimes they creep to the top, you open it up, you put one in there, boom, out they come. Crafty. Let's get my mask sorted out here, make sure all the hair's out of the sides. I'll see you back in about 45 with a few bugs. Look what I found. Well, as you can see, we, uh, we scored. There's bugs everywhere down there. It's crystal clear. It's a gorgeous day. And uh, it's lunchtime. <laughs> Not a bad haul. What we have here is a foil board. Vertical shaft about two to three feet long. And this is your bottom piece which is kind of shaped like a manta ray. It's best described as standing on a joystick. If you can imagine that, it's pretty difficult. So basically we're going to hit it about 30 miles an hour. Keep it steady, keep it straight. Get this thing out of the water and I'll show you how to foil board. We could stay out here all day, but I gotta get rolling. Things to do, people to see. Most importantly, it's lunchtime.